So I'm back with my 28th week pregnancy update and this is going to be kind of a quick video. A because the week flew by, it wasn't super eventful, um, we did have a baby shower which I will speak about. I will jump in to what happened with my glucose test so if you want to hear more about that then keep watching. So this week the baby is the size of a papaya, yummy, <laughs> that actually sounds really good right now. So it's about one and a half to two, a little over two pounds, uh, 13 to 15 inches from crown to heel. So let's talk about what happened with the glucose test. So if you guys watched my previous vlogs, um, then you know that I went in for the routine, you know, hour glucose test, failed that uh, by four points, went back for my three hour glucose test, and everything during the three hours of after drinking the 100 milliliters of, or milligrams, milliliters, right? Because it's a liquid, <laughs> um, of glucose, uh, it, my ranges were fine. I was within the normal after the one hour, the two hour, and then the final hour. And what came back abnormal was my initial fasting blood work. So you fast for eight hours and then you go in and they test your blood right away. 94 is kind of the cutoff. And I showed up at 95, so I was one over on that. So of course they're like, oh, red flag, red flag, abnormal test. So now I have to go tomorrow to get my initial eight hour fasting blood work done. So I just have to go get my blood work done in the morning. Um, I don't have to wait around to drink any glucose, any of that stuff, but um, they just want to test my initial blood work. So I don't know. I think it's kind of stupid in a way because if my blood came back normal within the range at least um, after the glucose and you know processing it through that three hours then why is it such a big deal but better safe than sorry it's all about precautions um, it's funny because you know a lot of you guys on Facebook or on my Instagram have said you know oh don't worry I failed the first one and then was fine on the second one blah 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 and then some people are just like freaked out like oh my god you failed what does that mean <laughs> is it gonna be okay and I don't know it's just um, this is what you go through when you're having a hospital delivery or you're going to an OBGYN you know within the hospital ranks um, I know if you are birthing at a birthing center or have you know just solely a doula or a midwife then you can skip these tests which hey whatever you choose to do just on either end do as much research as you possibly can so that's all I'm gonna say about that um, I'm totally fine with it either way even if I come back with gestational diabetes which I'm hoping I don't but if I do then it will be kind of a shock only because I do exercise and I eat healthy um, and I have a low body weight but um, maybe it has something to do with putting on 25 extra pounds very quickly, I don't know. But even if I come back with that, I know that doctors will be taking very good care of me and baby boy and it is what it is. Take one step at a time. So there's that. On to the good stuff. We uh, just got back from Northern California where my uh, in-laws friends had thrown us a co-ed baby shower. Uh, and it was awesome. We did a taco truck, we had, you know, margaritas, and it was blazing hot up in Northern California. I don't know if any of you guys are around the San Jose, San Francisco area. Well, I know San Francisco was nice and cool, as it always is, but if you went, you know, a little bit south, then it just got so hot. I think by the time our shower started at like 4, it was 90 three degrees or something. It was very hot, um, which of course leads to swelling <laughs> and uh, I just, I wasn't able to stand for very long, but I was still rocking my, you know, four inch wedge heels, don't you worry. Uh, and it was just awesome. We have the best friends and family and now I get to head to Denver this weekend for another family baby shower that my best friend and mom are throwing. So that's gonna be a ton of fun. Hopefully it's a little bit cooler in Denver. And yeah, baby showers are just all of what you decide to make of them. Um, some people don't want them at all. Some people throw up these like lavish, extravagant baby showers. Some 
do you know bring your own potluck I don't know it's it's just whatever it's all to celebrate baby and I think if you just kind of stay in perspective and just know that it's all good and you know it's not about the gifts really it's about the the sharing of the love then it's you know all good and it's something that everybody should do some more good news, uh, just professionally, I, uh, you might have seen it on my social media as well, but um, I am now a panelist on HLN, um, Dr. Drew has a show, and it's called Dr. Drew On Call, and it's, you know, the headline news network. So it's a part of CNN, part of Turner Media, but it's its own network. So search your local listings for HLN, and uh, it comes on at 9 p.m. Eastern time, so do the math west coast 6 p.m. sharp and yeah I've been on a couple times three times I think two or three times and I'm actually headed there today so if you want to check out some crazy stories and what's buzzing around social media um, then check it out and see different opinions and some controversial <laughs> argumentative opinions it's always welcome on that um, yeah, and there's a ton of hashtags that you can follow. Follow Dr. Drew, of course, at uh, Dr. Drew HLN on Twitter. So there's that good news. Hopefully, I'll be back numerous times, and um, maybe at some point there's going to be a humorous story in there, uh, and not so serious and psychotic and sinister. But anyway, uh, that's pretty exciting. And then I have some big news coming up, which I can't share yet, um, but it has to do with mommyhood and parenting and lifestyle and all that good stuff that I know that you guys love um, hearing about um, so yeah on that note if you want to leave in the comments if you you know what blogs do you guys go to what are your favorite lifestyle or mommy blogs that you are interested in and what content do you really thrive for is it you know how to's is it reviews is it just advice is it a day in the life all that good stuff just what do you guys want to see baby is kicking a ton so that's emotionally exciting just because it's like whoa now I'm like starting to see like little movements across the stomach and not just like a little twitch um, he's very active up by my rib cage which uh, can kind of be uncomfortable uh, sleeping physically uh, it's getting harder every day it's just uncomfortable I sleep on my left side and then my rib cage gets like concaved and then I can't breathe very well <laughs> And then I flip over to my right side and then my butt cheek falls asleep or my hip gets stuck and then my leg falls asleep. It's just a hot mess. So definitely making use of my pregnancy pillow and every other pillow that we own, but it's just, it's not fun, ladies. <laughs> we Again, we still are in the process of moving, so big news coming up with that as far as like redecorating and hopefully doing a little series on this channel or the surprise channel of with what's to come with you know some DIY projects or just some renovation on a budget kind of deals so there is a lot to do in the next few months and yeah just happen to be having a baby in there too so life is good so that's about it so I hope you guys are doing well and I will definitely see you in my next video bye